Okay, welcome to part three, where we start solving the middle layer. Now to solve the middle layer, what we want to do is we want to position it so that the cube so that the solid side or the red face is on the bottom like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is this whole layer requires two algorithms. Like seriously, for every single case there is uh, two algorithms and this is very inconvenient for a Rubik's Cube tutorial so just give me a second okay anyhow so what you want to do is you want to look for any of these four pieces like f any f four, one of these four cross pieces that does not have orange in it or when you're on your own and sewing it by yourself you want to look for one of these that does not have the top color in it because we need to save those for the top so there's one back here it's the white and green piece we want to do is we want to line this green is we want to put this green with this uh, green center right there just like that see green green and then what we want to do is we want to decide whether or not which way it needs to go in this case it needs to go to the right because so that way it'll be green white and green white so if it so to put it to the right you need to use this algorithm and I recommend you write it down because it's a little bit long but uh, it's still kind of easy to memorize. It took me like a week. So it goes like this. Up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. And you get the piece where it needs to go without messing any of this up. Okay? What if the piece needs to go to the left? Let's see. Uh that's a very 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 inconvenient thing there because it apparently does not need to go to the left uh... hang on well here's a case where the piece needs to go to the left so if the piece needs to go to the left uh, it what you need to do is you need to do this algorithm and it's basically the opposite of the algorithm that you use to get a piece down here so that's another reason why these are easy to memorize it goes like this um, it goes like this up inverted, left inverted, up, left, up, front, up inverted, front inverted, and then you put it there without messing that up. So, using those two algorithms, you should be able to. Um, so yeah. So using those two algorithms, you should be able to get to this point where. Uh, you have the entire middle layer solved except you might have a piece that's flipped or two pieces that are switched we're just gonna go over this but they're basically the exact same thing uh, so what you do is with this right uh, what you want to do is you want to put this on the right just for ease of explanation then what you want to do is you want to get, do the algorithm to get this from to get this piece from here down to here which you already know it's that up right up inverted right inverted up inverted front inverted up front and then that piece goes there and then the piece is all the way back here so just do a u2 and then um, just repeat the algorithm like that. solve that middle layer so now that you have the middle layer solved, it's time to continue solving this last layer in part 4.